Andrew, it's a shocking abuse of state resources. That money should have been used elsewhere. We have a private wedding, private individuals. We're not talking VIPs, some government function, private individuals. And to hear that the Defence Force have no idea about this is even more shocking. They were then escorted with a blue light cavalcade, at least four vehicles. The reports were flooding in all morning. Uh, who gave permission for VIP uh, unit to be used. Uh, all of it is, is questionable. I, I've written to the Auditor General asking him to investigate a possible abuse of state funds and also of course questions will be going through to the Minister of Police uh, who gave them permission, was it him, to the Minister of Defence and of course to Home Affairs. Did they somehow go through some customs exercise or are they exempt? We don't know. The Guptas, as far as I know, don't run the country and aren't part of government. So I want an explanation. Why were they given this permission to be treated in this manner when we are so desperate for funds? The SAPs have just asked us to sign off on a 67 billion rand budget. Certainly they're not going to get my vote if they're using funds for SAPs for these sorts of purposes. Well, it's crucial. It's absolutely crucial. Today, members of parliament have the right to actually call for the change of resources in relation to a budget or to totally vote against it and, and can have a major impact via the portfolio committees on these budgets. That budget vote is one month away today. And let me tell you, this is a very poor indication. If the Minister of Police imagines that he can utilize SAP's funds uh, to flit so-called friends and family of friends in and out and around about through the country dodging home affairs and using the defense force uh, base it, it's breathtaking what's happened today well it does say a lot um, I mean we've all seen the endless endless uh, use of Gupta's propaganda uh, we're seeing media more and more influenced we have their newspaper, which which is prominently displayed every day on the SABC. It's quite an extraordinary situation. And I, it takes me back, of course, to the whole Shabir Sheikh debacle, um, where it was, you wash my back, I'll wash yours. And that seems to be happening all over again. Well, I think South Africans are pretty shell-shocked as it is. We've seen in Kandla, and they quickly dis determine that a person's private home is a national key point like a nuclear power plant or a harbor or an airport so that we're not supposed to ask questions about why so many hundreds of millions are spent on a man's home. Uh, we're as a nation shell-shocked at the fact that the public purse is being looted to provide luxury and, and uh, flights of fancy, literally, uh, for friends, relatives, chummies from overseas. It's quite appalling. This is not a government function. These resources should not have been used. And so we need answers. And let's hope that the Auditor General uh, will get through this investigation quickly. Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? This is for a private function. And VIPs are allowed to go to private functions all over the world. They're not necessarily going to be uh, here for any government event. And it's problematic in the extreme, unless we're talking about a president. But we're apparently talking all sorts of visitors to this wedding. Uh, but the fact that the Defence Force knew nothing about it means that it's been done on the QT. And that cannot be allowed. It cannot be that the Defence Force does not know who is being flown in and out of their very own uh, bases. I mean, it's, it's the most appalling um, situation. How can they not know? How can the minister not know who's being flown out of our bases? Is this not a threat to national security? I would have thought so. News that moves. ENCA.com.